G'day gang, Game Molly O'Dan here, how you going? We're back in the Lord of the Rings Online, and uh, we need to head back to town, I believe. I think we had cleared out pretty much all the quests, so we need to head back to Coombe. I have to remember to use my milestone and bind it there, because I keep I I have I keep forgetting to do it. Anyway, uh, Marta P said check out the tree panel see if we've got anything to distribute there so i'm going to have a look at that now while we're on the way and uh yes you are correct we do have something i've got impact arrows and quick draw which i can also contribute to maybe i'll let's have a look can i i can we can get a number two for impact arrows three percent range damage or we can go to quick draw which is going to give us minus eight percent to all skill inductions well, let's go with this one for now. Yep, apply that. Beauty. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, KP Sting, thanks also for telling me about this. Find the path, which is a aura. Increased movement speed. Which is exactly what I need when I'm so far out huh, from where I need to be and I can't use the, uh, the milestone to get back. So that gets us moving a little bit faster pace. And it looks like it's a permanent... I think it's permanent. I don't know if you can have two. Yeah, you can. Okay, so I've got my strength aura. And I've got this one at the same time. Cool. Alright. That certainly helps out a little bit. And we do... Well, a little bit. Quite a bit. We've also got... Um, a lot of stuff to sell. I think that was... Oh, let's just keep going. Yeah. Look at my bags. Once again, absolutely chockers. Got to do something about that. Who's that guy? Night Helm, the undefeated. Perhaps waiting for a challenge. I am not that man. Not at this point, anyway. Off to Comb. Should have a fair few quests that we can hand in. And it looks like we may be able to go south then. Perhaps head towards Bree as well. Or Staddle at first anyway. Ugh, ugh, alright. Some more players running around. Here we go. Ted Pickthorn. It's a sorry day. What? They chopped down the hanging tree? And you dug in all the trees with an axe? That is, this is terrible. How will I ever find my dad's, me dad's buried treasure now? I'm sorry to trouble you, but will you help me? Maybe the woodcutters at the lumber camp up east of here remember which tree was the hanging tree. Give all your Dan. You've got to have a word with Mason Thorne, the man in charge there. He just has to remember which of the stumps used to be the hanging tree. He just has to. The lumber camp is along the road, north of the big house. Please, I need that money to make a new star for myself. Um, well, hang on a second, mate. Wait, north? North takes me to our chip. Oh, maybe you want, you want me to go east first, and then north. Okay. So we've got to go back out there again. Okay. Well, at least we can run a little bit quicker. Let's go hand the other ones in while we're here. What can I do for you? You found it. Excellent work. And I can say that we are pleased that there is one less Blackwell to worry about as well. Now, Game Olio Dan, we can find what the brigands hid away within your this chest. You have done a wonderful job, friend, and deserve this reward. Uh, slim or thin? A slim one or a thin one? One's for vitality, one's for might. Let's go for might. Oh, let's go for vitality so we can have a bit, a bit more survival out here. Take a few more hits. What do you need? A little bit more health. You found a strong box? And this one is locked as well. And do you see these scratches right there on the lock? RF. Just like on the other one. We need to get those strong boxes open, Game Olio Dan. Maximum power or will? 
Let's go maximum power. I want enough room. Oh, no. Yep. Here's my issue. There we go. Let's get that one on. Can have two armbands. Good. Alright, beautiful. Alright. So. Anything else? We should probably find a merchant right now because... We have way too many things. Uh, our inventory is way too full. What can I do for you? Uh, I need to sell, 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 sell. I need somebody to sell to. A whole bunch of banners over here. Somebody here. Here we go. How may I help you? I need to sell to you, sir. Right. Rune Stone of Fate. Bind on Equip. It's for sorcerers and, and mages. Some scrolls. Sell all these broken sword sheets and broken daggers. Shiny copper earring. Let's get rid of that one. Woven cloak. Get rid of that. Some dirty filth. Don't need that. Don't need this. Okay, how are we looking now? Well, I guess a little bit better, but still. I'm just going to have to start using these things. What can I do for you today? Let's see if we can use anything here. Some simple rations. Max morale. What's this one here? Tome of Fate. I'll use one of these ones. Got so many of them. All right. What do we go here? Uh, Lotro points granted. We got to deed bestowed and deed completed. All right. We got anything else here that we have to hand in? So we're gonna go to the lumber camp. And this one's in Stato, and this one's about the farm. Okay. Go for a quick, quick run back there. Hopefully we can then move southward. Back into the Chetwood. Nothing else that we can equip. Got some dye and... That's really it. I got like a lot of maps and letters. Guides, directions. I don't know, actually know if I need to keep these. Alright, Mason Thorn. Greetings. The hanging tree. Oh, I remember seeing a few mm, hangings in my day. I mm, do believe I wrote the side of the hanging tree down in my ledger. I read down all the things I want to remember, so I can just look them up in... Well, bless me. I think I dropped my ledger in the woods not far from here. Yes, I remember. We were surprised by some of those black wolves, and I dropped my ledger on the road. I'd wager a captain of those brigands picked it up. There are quite a few campfires to the north and east, along the for forested road. You might find my ledger on one of them black wolves. Bring it back to me. Here. Bring it, bring it, bring it black, bring it black. Bring it back here, and I'll look up what that thing you wanted to know about. A tree, was it? 
Mate, that's why you write everything down, eh? Painting the picture. How far into it? Oh, man, we have to go all the way back in. Jeez. Yep, the Chetwood is well travelled by these feet of ours. Although those armbands did make a difference, didn't they? We're up to 739 now, I think, up from 500 or so. Oh, look at you on your your little horse, Bedora. Easily lost. I need to get. I need. We need to get ourselves this horsey business. Although this speed boost now uh, does make a big difference, doesn't it? Okay, we're coming up to it now. Some campfires over here. Uh, let's focus up. Take out this sergeant over here. I bet he knows a thing or two. Okay, bring the ledger. Oh, we got it. Okay, good. We'll just head back. And I did it again, didn't I? <laughs> I forgot to... Oh, dear. We forgot to do the old milestone. Still got a red circle over here. Just check, do we, do we actually get it? Yeah, we do. We got the ledger. Okay, good. Oh, what's happening here? Like a white beacon. Unless they leveled up or something. Alright. Got your ledger, mate. Please remember now. But it's the one right next to him. How can I be of service? Ah, oh, you found my ledger. Now I can find that mm, thing you wanted. Stay a moment. Let me just, um, find the right... Ah, oh, here we go. I see. I see. So you stand in the field of stumps and mm, take this many paces and then that many strides, of course, I remember. The hanging tree was the southern, southeasternmost tree in the bunch. It was standing there, closest to the Saddle Falls. Now, just go back to that stump field and you'll find that thing you wanted. What was it you wanted again? You were digging for something, right? Here, take this pickaxe. It'll make things easier to dig. Least I could do. You finding my ledger at all? Now he sounds like me, forgetting things five seconds later. Um, alright, Stettle. On our way to Stettle, this place. Collect Pickthorn's treasure. Watch out for the bear. Or maybe the bear should watch out for us. Okay, here we go. Stumps. Stumps everywhere. Southeast and most. Here we go. Alright. Pickthorn's boots to Ted Pickthorn. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. That beautiful water over there. Very nice. Saw a bunch of stones over there, large boulders or something. Maybe that's a mine?
All right, Pickthorn. You better appreciate this, pal. All the running we've been doing today. Uh, Teddy, here we go. Whoa to me. What are these? These boots were buried beneath the hanging tree? My dad was a villain to the end. Wealth enough to keep you warm and shod. Shod indeed. Wait, there's something rattling around inside the heel of this one. Taking a knife from his pocket, Ted slices into the heel. And gold pieces tumble out into his waiting palm. Well, I'll be. My dear old dad told me true. Wealth enough to keep you warm and shod indeed. You should add my thanks. You add my thanks, Game Olio Dan. With this money, I'll be able to get a new start. I'll do better than my dad. Dear old dad, and wait. You wait and see. Got all those gold coins he gave us a little bit of copper. Unbelievable. Ah, uh, PvP is happening. It's happening. Alright. So. Greetings. Let's see here. Can you take us to Staddle? What can I do for you? Take us to the Shire. It looks like you can take us a whole bunch of places, but not where we need to go. Um, Alright, so how do I bind to this mine? Here we go. Right here. Bind. Are you sure you want to set this location as your new bind point for the return to Archet's skill? Yes. Okay, just in case we need to come back here. Alright, that's, that's to go to the store. It's this Raven, ally of Istimor. Alright, never mind all that, let's go south. South to Staddle. Yeah, so what, would, <laughs> what was that? Uh, Alright, let's... Add these all back to our tracker. So we know where we're going. Okay, so we got something up here. Down south. And so let's go to Staddle. Couple of farmers, townsperson, just hanging out. Going to the free people. Chicken. It's a random chicken. Now entering Staddle. Pigs, is that Bree over there? Yes, that must be the road to Bree. Sorry, but I've got no goods to sell. This lot is bound for comb. How do you do? Friendship's renewed. Is that Lolo? It is Lolo, okay. You say you've spoken with Burl Beeman? Oh, this is bad, very bad indeed. I had a good and profitable arrangement with Beeman. I would purchase pipeweed from here in Staddle, bring it to Beeman in exchange for honey. And then use the honey to satisfy my outstanding contracts in Staddle. But as much as I would like to renew th that arrangement, I am unable to do so at the moment. Unless maybe you could do something for me. Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? While I was trying to sell some of my wares to the farms east of Staddle, a bear got into my wagon here and made off with my pack. I expected probably dragged it out to eat my lunch. The problem is that my coin purse was in that pack. Which means I can't buy pipeweed to trade to Burl. Worse, if I don't get back within the next 15 minutes, I am sure to miss out on the good prices of pipeweed in Staddle. You've got to find that bear that stole my pack and bring it back to me in the next 15 minutes, Game Olio Dan. Oh no. Oh no. We're on the clock. Where, whereabouts, Lolo? Give us an idea. There's a pig over here, I mean a, a bear over there. It's 
a whole bunch of bears here actually. I guess we just keep going until we pop the right bear. There you go. Let's go back. Hey, that was a lot less than 15 minutes. Got it. I reckon we picked it up in under one. Or just on one. There we go. A lovely day, isn't it? My pack, you found it. And with time to spare, too. Take this as a token of my thanks, Game Olio Dan. Uh, level 8, and... Well, not really fantastic, is it? Let's take it anyway. It would be nice to continue my trade with Bo. Into Bree. Good day. You've been, to have a word with you. You've been a big help to me, Game Olio Dan. Something about you tells me that you could be a great help to many. If you're looking to further your charitable nature, you may want to speak with second watcher Heathstraw in Bree Town. Heathstraw is very much in the know of problems facing B Bree. What with the refugees coming from the south and all the whispers of the rising dark, I think he's got a fair share of details to keep track of, poor fellow. You can find him through the Stanel Gate of Bree standing near the boar fountain in the market square. Alright, that's one. Hello there. Stanel is speak with you a moment. Stanel is a tranquil place, or normally so. Recently, however, the guards and constables have been Fearful of the midge water marsh and the tall folk moving into ruins in the south. If you continue following the road to the south, you'll find Staddle Centre. Talk to Watcher Redweed there and tell them that I sent you on to help. Alright, let's go to Staddle first. I think we have a few. We should have a couple of things in Staddle. We've also got to go back to comb again. Ah! Alright. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. There's a lot of people here. Greetings, friend. No, I don't want to trade. Sorry. If I gave you the wrong impression, all I wanted to do was sell. There are a lot of quests here again. I don't want to get swamped in quests. I want to get over here and hand that back first. Ah, oh, but then I've got to ride back. Damn it. Some merchant over here. No, maybe you're not a merchant. You are named merchant, but I cannot sell to you. Friend, Hello. can I help you with something? Yes, uh, let me sell these things to you. Some shoulder pads, which we can sell. Okay, that's a bit better. Talk to Watch Redweed. Where's Watch Redweed? Here we go. Watch Redweed. On to Staddle. What do you need? Hello there. You've come from Lolu, have you? You've come to the right place then, friend. There is much happening around Staddle that needs attention, and there are few, too few guards and constables to reach them all. Gammy Boggs. We had that. Over here somewhere. Gammy, Would you do something for me? Gammy Boggs, one of the older hobbits here in Stanall, keeps tabs on all the hobbits of the farms east of the town centre. If you find yourself on the road east, look to the north at the second farm and you'll find Gammy looking out over the rolling pipe weed farms. She's always got something to say to passers-by and likely will want something done. 